Hi, I'm Madeline, and today I'm talking to Dr. Christine Tenez. I know that college can be really different from high school, but can you give me a couple examples of some things that might catch some freshmen off guard? The biggest difference, I think, between high school and college is that now you have to take responsibility for your learning. So I'll ask you, if by chance you, know, you start to fall behind or you don't understand anything, do you have a plan? Uh, I mean, not really. Your plan probably in the past was to just go see your teacher. And sometimes that is not as easy in college. And so if the teacher's not available, there are some things that you can do. You can get a tutor. Um, you can definitely study with friends. It's very important to do that. And now there are lots of videos out there that you can watch on a daily basis. I'm really worried of keeping track of all of my assignments and my due dates. And even when I do keep track of them, I just, I just don't feel like I have enough time. What we have found is that t managing your time in college is a big struggle for freshmen. So having goals will help you with your time management skills. Do you have any goals for yourself? I mean, I really just want to do well in my classes. Well, that's a great goal. So let's talk about how to tweak that goal just a little bit to make it more useful. Because doing well in your classes is a little general. We want to, turn, to make that goal a little more specific. So what does do well mean to you? Well, I want to get an A. So that's very specific. You want to get an A in your courses. And um, what's your major? I'm a history major. And did you do well in social studies when you were in high school? Yeah, I did. Because another criteria of setting useful goals is to have that be a realistic goal. So getting an A in your history classes, is that realistic for you? Yeah, I think so. And then we also want to make sure it's challenging. And so do you think getting an A in your history courses is going to be a challenge? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a lot of hard work. Absolutely. Being a freshman in college and you're taking new college courses in a new setting is going to be a challenge for anybody. So, you know, there's a line between having to be challenging and having to be realistic. But it sounds like you have both. And then the last criteria is having a completion date. So when do you want to accomplish this A in your class by? Well, by the end of the semester. So now you've just tweaked your, your, your initial goal of doing well in your classes to getting an A in your history classes by the end of the semester. So we have 24 hours in a day. That's 168 hours in a week. That's what we all have to work with. And so let's say I take away time for eating, for sleeping, for going to class, and even time for a hobby. So taking that all into consideration, let's say we have about 51 hours left in a week to work with. So do you study for 51 hours a week? No, absolutely not. I, I don't think anybody does. So really, we have time. But we have so many tasks that we have to work with, it's just trying to fit them into our schedule. So a couple things that you can do. First thing is identify everything you have to do in a week and write that down. Then you need to get out the syllabus for all of your classes and write down all of your assignments for one week and identify those. Now, one thing that we all tend to do is procrastinate. And so you don't want to procrastinate. And it's, it's easy to procrastinate when you see so you see assignments that are 50 pages long that you, you, know, you have to do a reading assignment or you have to write a paper that's five to 10 pages and they seem so overwhelming that we never want to get started on those. So a couple things you can do here is break those assignments down into smaller units. So for example, for reading, if you have to do 50 pages of reading, one thing you can do is break that down to read pages one through 15, read pages 16 through 30 and so on. And so let's say you're at lunch and you finish lunch and you still have about 20 minutes to kill. You can read those 15 pages. Now you've made a dent into that big reading. And so no longer do you have to read 50 pages, you've put a dent into it and it's not so overwhelming anymore. And then when you're done, check it off. It shows you what you've done, what you've accomplished, and it makes you feel good. So earlier we talked about setting goals and goal setting and time management do go hand in hand. And so, when would you like to graduate? In how many years? Well, in four years. So that's considered a long-term goal, that you would like to graduate in four years. And so that's a great thing to say, but how do you accomplish that? And so one thing you can do is to break that down into a shorter-term goal. And you might say something like, you want to take 15 credits and get a 3.3 this semester. Again, a great shorter-term goal into achieving that long-term goal of graduating in four years, but how do you get a 3.3 this semester? One thing you can do is say, have a goal saying that you're going to get an A in your history classes, and that will help you get that 3.3. But how do you get an A in your history classes? 
Well, one thing you can do is to do the reading assignments and do the papers. And so you're breaking it down further and further and further because the tasks that you do today will help you achieve your shorter term goal of getting a 3.3 this semester and taking 15 credits, but then that will help you achieve your longer term goal of graduating in four years.